Hello everyone, Big Manili here once again, and this time I'm showing my 1988 Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. I have a couple of vintage TMNT figures, and I thought I'd start making videos on them. If you've seen my Raphael video, these action figures were not really that articulated. They did have some movement in the arms and legs, which were considered really good back then. Anyways, I really had fun playing with these TMNT figures back then. <laughs> and still have fun playing with them right now. Okay, let's take a closer look at Leonardo. And there he, he is with his weapons rack and also his weapons. I did have his original weapons also, but I did have to buy the TMNT Classic Collection to replace some of his uh, missing weapons I did miss back in the day, like from playing and also... Uh, some ninja stars were missing and also I was missing Leonardo's uh, weapons rack and I didn't know back in the day that where the weapons were stuck onto or or glue or melted on with uh, there were actually it was actually a weapons rack <laughs> like um, I didn't realize until recently I saw that and I did actually try to if you, as you could see there hanging most of his weapons on the rack. It's not really that stable, but hey, it works. Like, if you display it on a shelf, if you lightly tap the shelf, yeah, it will fall down, but so far it's, uh, stable. And, uh, works, uh, pretty well. Anyway, uh, here's Leonardo's weapons belt I had before, and you could see it kinda broke from the tab back there. So I bought uh, the Team T uh, Classic Collection and got his uh, original parts to replace. Well, not his original parts, but just something to replace him to make Leonardo look fully complete with all his weapons. And plus, these uh, swords here are very flimsy. Even in the, the new collection, they are still flimsy and they can break easily, especially when you're putting his swords in his hands there. Gotta, I still have to be very careful when I put uh, Leonardo's swords back onto him. As you can see, I have two sets of swords. So Leonardo is holding um, uh, two swords there. And also, uh, I found one in the, uh, this sword here back in the day somehow. I think I got it from a, my shredder. And I just gave it to Leonardo when one of uh, his swords broke. Shredder doesn't need a sword anyway. He has his, his claws there. And also, I put one in the back here, as you can see. That was pretty cool. I thought when I was a kid, like, he could carry his weapons. Not many toys back then had things like that. Well, they probably did. Well, I didn't have any. Anyway, let's take a look, closer look at Leonardo. As you can see, mine here, Leonardo, you can tell he's one of the originals because... His half head kind of squishes. I don't want to squish him too much, but yes, he does squish. Okay, and his head. Let's take a look at all his articulation. Or actually, let's, let's take a look more of his his sculpt here. So Leonardo's uh, his color is blue. As you can see, it's his bandana. You guys also on his uh, elbow pads, his wrist pads. His knee pads and um, all these teen teenage mutant ninja turtles they all come in a different kind of tinge of green and here you take a look at back of a shell here see if you could see mine all I don't have the greatest lighting but mine's been worn out here from all the sheeting his sword putting back in and out there also Turtle shells black. I, I can see all the nice detailed marks of his shell. Close. Not sure if you can see that. Right. And of course, his famous L on his belt. And let me see if I can focus on this right here. The 1988 stamping 
uh, Mirage Studios and Playmates. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's the best focus I could get. Okay, so was, I'm going to take out sword back here, place it down on the side there. And let's take a closer look as, uh, at Leonardo's articulation. So, of course, like I said, there's not much articulation, but these uh, toys were hella fun back then. So his head, it just goes all the way around. Doesn't look up and down or anything like that. And his arms go all the way around. And his only, uh, also just a wrist, kind of like a, what's it, forearm. You know, it's a, just a, just a swivel here. Not on a ball joint or anything like that, but you could still do great poses with Leonardo here. Same on the other side. And his legs, there's no really articulation there. It feels like it's on a ball joint. And that's mostly all of uh, Leonardo's articulation. Okay, I'll just put him here. And we'll take a closer look at Leonardo's weapons here. So what he comes with, of course, is katana blades. And he comes with his first daggers. Right, and oh, these are both of his uh, first daggers here. I'm not sure if we get the focus on them there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's put them back here. And of course, he comes with his ninja stars. I'm gonna remove this weapons rack right here. So you can see I put uh, his ninja stars on the little tabs there on his weapons rack. Right, and then. Let's get a little closer look at the weapons rack. Okay, I'll put it back on the side here, and of course, his comma. Never actually seen them use them in any of the cartoons, but it is a nice accessory that they come with all these extra weapons. Extra weapons. Loved it. Loved it uh, so, when I was a kid. Okay. Also, what I have here, let me just move this camera slightly back here a bit more. I do have Leonardo's original packaging. Okay, I'll just go move it back here. See, mine still has a little tab still stuck in the top here. Let me back up the camera. You can see it still has this tab, this punch card tab. Never been opened, but you can tell my through age it has a little hazing there on his arms. I guess due to time, depending on the material, the plastic will start to haze. But it can you can wipe it off if you open the package, which of course I'm not going to open. Anyway, so it shows here, of course, Leonardo on his package, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell. Right, there's Leonardo there again, and it shows Leonardo with his weapons and blades made by Playmates, and it tells, what does it say here? Amazing turtleistic arm movement, deluxe weapons assortment, weapons belt, and weapons rack included. See, when I was a kid, I didn't really read that part there. There we go. That's a better focus, I think. And we'll take a look in the back, and of course it show, shows a little history of the Ninja Turtles. And a little bit of a cartoon of their history. And it shows the other figures in that line. Of course, which I do have them all, and I will, will be making more videos on these characters. Of all these characters right now. And of course, it has a little uh, collector clip that says up there or hit in his bio about Leonardo. And I don't know, pizza points. I did save them when I was a kid when I had them, but I really do not know <laughs> what you could use 
use them for. Right. And of course, product information where it was made, the steels, right. and all the other figures, manufacturers. Okay, there he is. I'll put it back here. And what I do also have is the Nickelodeon uh, Leonardo. Right, brand new in his packaging. You know, I know they came out with Nickelodeon. Same with the original TMNT figures. They came out with a lot of um, Leonardo's, but, I, you know, in the line. But for the Nickelodeon series, that is my favorite Leonardo. You know, almost close to the cartoon and cut. Plus, comes with assortment of weapons. And, of course, these guys are very articulated compared to the original ones. You know, they have, like... Uh, Elbow joints, you know, wrist joints, uh, ball joints in their legs, but they could also bend their knees. Anyway, I'll be doing another re a video on uh, those figures later on. As soon as I finish uh, the original Team and T set videos. And for comparison's sake, I do have the Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo open and packaged too. You can tell he's a little bit taller than the original Leonardo and a little bit more articulated but still if I had to choose of course I'll go old school choose the original Leonardo but these figures are still badass too anyway like I said I'll do another video on them but I thought I'd just put them right beside the original Leonardo and see how they compare I'll just put Leonardo here and maybe you could take a look at their backs too comparison see Leonardo here on the left the original one when you sheath his swords they kind of go in an X and Leonardo the Nickelodeon one on the right they just kind of go parallel with each other there I'll just put Leonardo's sword back here ever so easily don't want to break these again there we go you can never have enough too many swords. There we go. Ooh, that, see, that's how it looks for Leonardo. Put him right beside there. Okay, just for fun, let's put uh, Leonardo's soldiers on just to see what he looks like. And there's Nickelodeon uh, Leonardo with his two swords on. Okay, so I'll turn the original Leonardo around. I'm gonna just put this weapons rack back here and put Leonardo, Nickelode you know, Le <laughs> Nickelodeon Leonardo right beside him. There we go. Wow, these are pretty badass figures. I love them. Okay. And just for and just for another com comparison size, here he is, they are with Big Manila, tall as always. Let's see, just camera, there he is, Big Manila. Hey guys, I hope you did like my showing of Leonardo. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and uh, see my check out my other videos that I do have online. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.